Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's maths class. Let us continue the problem from the chapter data handling. Okay. In the previous class, in the exercise 5.1, we have learnt how to draw bar graph and histogram. And also we have answered some questions based on those uh, graphs also. Now, in this class, we are going to learn about a pi diagram or a circular chart. Okay, pi chart or we can call it as a circular diagram or circular chart. Okay, now look at this picture. A survey was made to find the type of music that a certain group of young people liked in their city. Adjoining pie chart shows the finding of this survey. This is the picture showing the data of a survey conducted by a, an organization in a city about the type of music they like. Okay. From this pie chart, answer the following questions. So, I'll uh, read the questions. Before that, let us look at this picture once. Here, in this circle, there are four sectors. Okay. Out of some people in the city, 20% of the people like semi-classical music and 10% of the people like classical music. Okay. And 30% of the people of the city like folk, folk music. And the remaining 40% of the people of the city like light music, light music. Okay. This is the information given about the survey. Okay, now we need to answer the questions given below. The first question is, if 20 people liked classical music, how many young people were surveyed? Actually, here, the people who liked the classical music is 20% as per the picture given. Okay, but here he has given that 20 people liked the classical music. Now, look at this. The first question answer is the people who like the classical music. Okay. Is 20. This implies as per the given problem, the classical, sorry, the classical music liked by the people is 10% only. But as per the given problem, 10% uh, of the people like the classical music. So let us do one thing. Let the total number of people surveyed be X. Okay, we don't know how many people are surveyed. So we have taken it as X. But how many people are liking the classical music? 10% of the out of the total number of people in the city. So 10% of X is equal to, but the number of people who liked the classical music is 20. So we have to equate with 20. Okay. Now what is meant by 10%? 10 by 100. Here half becomes into x is equal to 20. Therefore, x is equal to 20 into this 10 by 100. If you transpose into RHS, it becomes 100 by 10. Now, 0, 0 will be cancelled. 20 into 100, x is equal to 20 into 10 is 200. Therefore, how many people? The total number of people. So here, if 20 people liked the classical music, how many people were surveyed? Therefore, total number of surveyed. Number of people surveyed is equal to 200. This is the answer for the first question. Okay, actually we don't know the total number of people surveyed in the city. We have taken it as X. Okay, but he has given that 20 people liked the classical music. 20 people. But as per the given information, the classical music, the percentage of the people who liked the classical music is 10%. So 10% of the total people is given 20. So 10% means 10 by 100 into x is equal to 20. 
If you transpose 10 by 100, it becomes 100 by 20. The next is equal to 200. Therefore, the total number of people who surveyed is 200. Now, let us go with the second question. Which type of music is liked by the maximum number of people? See, by looking at the picture, we can say which type of mu music they liked most. See, the size of the sector, which, which sector is having the biggest, the means bigger size, maximum size, that is the green one, that is light music, 40% of the people. So, the answer for the second question is light music. Okay, so light music uh, liked by the maximum number of people. Clear? Now you look at this. From this diagram, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%. Which is more? Light music. So 40% is the maximum answer. Now, the third question. If a cassette company were to make 1000 CDs, how many of each type would they, would they make? So actually, uh, here there is very less percentage of people liking the classical music. If the cassette company uh, produce more number of CDs of this type, there will be definitely there will be a loss. So based on the people interest, the cassette company has to prepare the number of CDs. The, the cassette company has to produce, they are ready to produce 1000 CDs. So how many of each type they have to prepare that we need to find. So let us do here the total number of CDs is equal to 1000. Okay, so number of CDs of classical music to be produced is equal to 10% of 1000. So actually 10% of people only liking the classical music. So 10% of the total CDs should be prepared. So 10 by percentage means by 100 into 1000. So 0, 0, 0, 0 will be cancelled. So 100 CDs have to be prepared of the classical music. And next, what is the next one? Folk. Folk music. CDs of Folk music is equal to, what is the percentage? 30%. 30% of the 1000 is 30 by 100 into 0, 0, 0, 0 cancel. We get 300. Okay. Let me arrange this. The answers of the first question and second question. Now, the number of CDs to be made of light, light music of light music is equal to 40%. 40% of 1000 CDs is 40 by 100 into 1000. So, we need to cancel the zeros from the denominator and numerator we get 400 CDs. And finally, the number of semi-classical music CDs is equal to how much? 20%. 20% 20 of 1000 CDs, that is 20 by 100 into 1000 CDs, we can cancel 0, 0, 0, 0. We get 200. So, the answers uh, classical music CDs 100, CDs of pure folk music 300, light music CDs 400, the number of semi classical music CDs 200. In this way, the cassette company has to produce the CDs. Understand? Now, let us go with the second problem. Please copy this. 
Now look at the second problem. A group of 360 people were asked to vote for their favorite season from the three seasons rainy, winter and summer. Okay. Now, which season got the most votes? That is the first question. Find the central angle of each sector. So we need to find the central angle and draw a pie chart to show this information. So let us do this problem first. Let us draw the pie chart. After that, let us answer the questions given below. Okay. Now, the number of votes secured for the summer season is 90. And the number of votes for rainy season is 120. And the number of votes for winter season is 150. So the more number of votes we got it for the winter season. And what is the total number of votes of all types? 360. The total number of votes given is 360. Now, first of all, we need to prepare the fraction. So the fraction of votes on summer out of 360 votes. That means the number of votes is 90 for the summer season and the total number of votes is 360. So 90 by 360. So if we cancel this 90 by 360, 0, 0 will be cancelled 9, 1, 0, 9, 4, 0. So we can write it as 1 by 4 in simplest form. Okay. Now, what is the fraction of votes uh, of rainy season? So the fraction of votes is 120 by 360. There are 120 votes out of 360 for the rainy season. If you cancel 120 by 360, 0, 0 will be cancelled, 12, 1, 0, 12, 3, 0. So we get 1 by 3 in the simplest form. And the number of votes secured for the winter season is 150 out of 360. So the fraction is 150 by 360. If you simplify, you will get 0, 0 will be cancelled. In 3 table 3 5 and 3 table 3 12. So we get the fraction 5 by 12. Okay. So like that we have to write the fraction for each item of the given information. So here there are three types. Three types of words. One is for the summer. Other is rainy. And the last one is winter. So we have prepared the fraction for each type of the item means which type of the season so 1 by 4 1 by 3 5 by 12 are the fractions now we need to prepare the central angle how much angle we get for each season okay so the total angle is 360 out of that how much we will get we will see the first fraction is 1 by 4 we should multiply with 360 degrees why should we multiply with 360 degrees I will tell you, I will let you know. First, let us do it. Here, 1 by 3 into 360 degrees. Again, the fraction is 5 by 12 into 360 degrees. Let us simplify. In 4 table, 4 90s. So, the central angle is 90 degrees. Okay. Now, here 3 120s. So, the central angle is 120 degrees. And here, in 12 table, 12 that is 360 degrees. So the central angle is 30 degrees. So we got three angles 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 30 degrees. Okay. So why? Because the central angle we are going to draw a circular chart that is pie chart. Pie chart is a circular picture. It has a circle. So the total angle at the center of a circle is 360 degrees. Okay. That's why we have multiplied with 360 to get the part of the angle. What is the part of the angle for the summer season is 90 degrees. We got it for, from multiplying by multiplying with the 360 because the total angle is 360. In that 360, the part of the summer season is one fourth that is 90 degrees. Here this is one third that is 120 degrees and this is 5 by 12 part that is 30 degrees. Now, with this information, let us draw the pie chart or circular chart. Here, this is a circle center. Okay. First, let us draw a radius like this. O, A. Okay. Now, you have to take 
the protractor okay what is the first central angle 90 degrees so 90 degrees we have to keep the protractor center at the point o and put a point at 90 degrees now we have to join we have to draw a ray through center o like this this is angle 90 degrees okay so this is ob okay and this is about some this this sector represent summer season okay now what is the next angle next angle is 120 degrees we should not keep on oa 90 degrees is completed so we have to go to ob we have to keep the center point of the protractor at on the radius ob now we have to take 120 degrees now join this with center o okay now this is 120 degrees so has anybody observed here we did a mistake here we got 30 degrees we need to multiply with 5 5 into 30 we get 150 degrees this is 150. Has anybody observed this? 5 into 30, 150. Now, the remaining angle, automatically the remaining angle will be 150. If you want, you can check it with the help of protractor. OC. You keep it on OC. Now, you keep it on OC at center O. And look at this. Automatically, we get 150 degrees. The remaining angle will be 150 degrees. Okay, so in this way we have to in this way we have to draw the circular chart or pie chart. This is about winter. Okay, now let us answer the questions given below the problem. Here the first question is which season got most words? So by looking at the picture, we can say clearly the winter season has got more number of words. Why? Because the, it is uh, making uh, more angle, that is 150 degrees. Okay. And the sector size is also bigger than the other two sectors. Therefore, the first question answer is winter season. Okay. Next. Second question. Find the central angle of each sector. Already we find we, we have got the angles of each uh, season. So find the central angle of each sector. The central angle of the sectors are angles of the sectors are what are they? 90 degrees, 120 degrees and 150 degrees okay so each part of this circle is called a sector here we have got three sectors in the sector the first first sector is having 90 degrees angle second sector 120 degrees angle and the third sector 150 degrees angle so the total sum of all the angles must be 360 if you add you must get 360 otherwise uh, something must be mistake next now look at this the third one what is the third one? Draw a pie chart to show this information. Actually, yeah, the, this itself is the answer for the third question. Pie chart. Okay, understood? Please copy this second problem. Then we will go with the third problem. Now look at the third problem. Draw a pie chart showing the following information. The table shows the colors preferred by a group of people okay now uh, here this is the information given by the problem see blue color the number of people who preferred the color blue is 18 and the number of 
people who preferred green is 9 who preferred red is 6 and the who preferred the color yellow is 3 the total number of people is 36 we need to draw a pie chart for this information so first of all we need to prepare the fraction for each item so let us prepare the fraction for each one here 18 so the total number of uh, people who gave the information so who gave their priority for their colors is 36 so 18 out of 36 the people the part of the people who uh, has the who are giving the preference for blue is 18 out of 36 so we should write 18 by 36 and the fraction of people who are giving priority for the green color is 9 out of 36 and the red color is 6 out of 36 and the yellow color is 3 out of 36 okay this is the fractional form of each item now we have to simplify these all fractions we have to write in its lowest form 18 1 18 2 we can write in 1 by 2 okay next 9 1 9 4 we can write it as 1 by 4 6 1 6 6 36 we can write it as 1 by 6 and in 3 table 3 1 3 12 36 1 by 3 12 1 by 12 so this is the fraction we got it from each color so the part of uh, sector the, the part of the sector the part of the circle which is in which will be giving the information about the blue uh, those who are the people those who are preferring blue color is 1 by 2 part and the green color part is 1 by 4 and the part of the red color is 1 by 6 and the yellow color is 1 by 12 now we have to get the central angle for each fraction so as I told you already the central angle at, at, in a circle is 360 degrees. The total angle at the center of a circle is 360 degrees. So each fraction has to be multiplied with 360 degrees. So here 1 by 2 into 360. 1 by 4 into 360. Okay. And 1 by 6 into 360. Here 1 by 12 into 360. We need to multiply with 360 to get the central angle now let us simplify into table 2 one eight is here 4 nine days here 6 120 is sorry 6 60s 360 and 12 30s so we get the angles 180 degrees 90 degrees 60 degrees and 30 degrees if you add all these angles, you will get 360 degrees. See, so check it. If you don't get 360, we have to check our problem once again. Okay, 180 plus 90, 270. 270 plus 60, 330. 330 plus 30, 360 degrees. Okay, now let us draw the pie chart for these angles. Okay, so first of all, we need to draw a radius. OA. Okay, the first angle is 180 degrees. 180 degrees is a straight angle. Means we get a straight line. So it is not necessary to take any protractor. We can draw directly like this. Okay. This is the angle. 180 degrees. Okay, this is the angle. Okay. Next. 90 degrees. Now, you take the protractor and keep it on OB, it's center O. Now, you have to take 90 degrees. Then, the sector will be like this. Okay, this is 90 degrees. And afterwards, 60 degrees. See, now, let us put the protractor with center O. And uh, keep it the edge on OC and take 60 degrees. Now join like this. This is D. The remaining angle automatically will be 30 degrees. Why? Because the total angle is 360. Whatever the angle left over will be 30 degrees. So 
see here we got uh, different uh, sectors with the different sizes so this sector represents the blue color and the next sector which is having 90 degrees represents green color the people who preferred green color okay and the red color is 60 degrees this is red and this one is yellow okay so in this way we can represent the given statistical data in a pie chart so first of all we have to take the values and write the fractional form the number given number by its total number like that we will get the fraction after that each fraction has to be multiplied with 360 degrees in order to get the central angle so with these central angles we have to um, we have to draw a pie chart by taking a circle with any radius you can draw a circle of any size no problem okay uh, after representing all these angles we will get different sectors those all sectors will represent the size and the value of the given observations whether it is the colors or any in like the previous uh, problem it is about the different types of musics like that okay okay so we have completed three problems from this exercise uh, let us continue the remaining problems in the next class thank you have a nice day